Greetings dear students of course knowledge based systems. This is highlights of second lecture delivered on June 15, 2021. I am your instructor Usman Tariq and we are discussing chapter number one, introduction to knowledge based systems. A knowledge engineer is an expert in AI language and knowledge representation who investigates a particular problem domain, determines important concepts, and creates correct and efficient representations of the objects and relations in the domain. Capturing domain knowledge of a problem domain is the first step in building an expert system. In general, the knowledge acquisition process through a knowledge engineer can be divided into four phases. 1. Planning. The goal is to understand the problem domain, identify domain experts, analyze various knowledge acquisition techniques, and design proper procedures. 2. Knowledge extraction. The goal is to extract knowledge from experts by applying various knowledge acquisition techniques. 3. Knowledge analysis. The outputs from the knowledge extraction phase, such as con concepts and heuristics, are analyzed and represented in formal forms, including heuristic rules, frames, objects and relations, semantic networks, classification schemes, neural networks, and fuzzy logic sets. These representations are used in implementing a prototype expert system. For knowledge verification, the prototype expert system containing the formal representation of the heuristics and concepts is verified by the experts. If the knowledge base is incomplete or insufficient to solve the problem, alternative knowledge acquisition techniques may be applied, and additional knowledge acquisition process may be conducted. In the early 80s when artificial intelligence and machine learning was gaining initial traction, knowledge systems emerged as a viable way of augmenting human intelligence. A knowledge-based system is a system that uses artificial intelligence techniques in problem-solving processes to support human decision-making, learning, and action. Some of the initial systems developed focused on medical diagnosis, or expert systems for satellites etc. Over the last four decades, as we have moved intensely towards knowledge-based economy globally, the development of knowledge systems has also expanded. This offered immense benefits to enterprises and knowledge workers. Expert systems use information technology to gain and use human expertise. Obviously, this can be very beneficial to organizations. Expert systems can 1. Provide answers for decisions, processes and tasks that are repetitive. 2. Hold huge amounts of information. 3. Minimize employee training costs. 4. Centralize the decision-making process. 5. Make things more efficient by reducing the time needed to solve problems. 6. Combine various human expert intelligences. 7. Reduce the number of human errors. 8. Provide strategic and comparative advantages that may create problems for competitors. 9. Look over transactions that human experts may not think of. The ES development environment contains a set of hardware tools, workstations, many computers, mainframes, high-level symbolic programming languages, LISP programming, LISP, and PR programmation in Logeek, Prolog, as well as large databases. Tools, as an ES technology, assists in reducing the effort and cost involved in developing an expert system to a large extent. A shell an expert system that functions without a knowledge base. It provides developers with knowledge acquisition, inference engine, user interface, and explanation facility. For example, Java Expert System Shell, Jess, Vidwan, etc. A key distinction between the traditional system as opposed to the expert system is the way in which the problem-related expertise is coded. Essentially, in conventional applications, the problem expertise is encoded in both program as well as data structures. On the other hand, in expert systems, the approach of the problem-related expertise is encoded in data structures only. Moreover, the use of knowledge in expert systems is vital. However, traditional systems use data more efficiently than the expert system. One of the biggest limitations of conventional systems is that they are not capable of providing explanations for a conclusion of a problem. That is because these systems try to solve problems in a straightforward manner. However, expert systems are capable of not only providing explanations, but also simplifying the understanding of a particular conclusion. Generally, an expert system uses symbolic representations to perform Form computations. On the contrary, conventional systems are incapable of expressing these terms. They only simplify the problems without being able to answer the how and why questions. Moreover, the problem-solving tools are present in expert systems as opposed to the traditional ones, and hence, various types of problems are most often entirely solved by the experts of the system. It is evident that no technology is entirely perfect to offer easy and complete solutions. Larger systems are not only expensive, but also require a significant amount of development time and computer resources. Limitations of ES include 1. No common sense used in making decisions. 2. Lack of creative responses that human experts are capable of. 3. 
not capable of explaining the logic and reasoning behind a decision. 4. It is not easy to automate complex processes. 5. There is no flexibility and ability to adapt to changing environments. 6. Not able to recognize when there is no answer. Expert systems have managed to evolve to an extent that they have stirred various debates about the fate of humanity in the face of such intelligence. Considering that expert systems were among the first truly successful forms of artificial intelligence software, it might just be the future of technology. So, if an expert have to know stuff, what's the stuff they have to know? It seems to me there are four broad domains of expertise. 1. Specific subject matter knowledge. The kind that, say, a cardiac surgeon has, or better have. Steve Jobs has that. 2. Broad and deep knowledge of a field that confers the right to coordinate the work of others. You see this kind of expertise possessed by Joe Torrey, a so-so ballplayer who became a great manager. 3. Knowledge of the outside world. This enables the leader to confront people with truths to which they have been blind, perhaps because their expertise is narrow or inward focused. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. For political expertise, which we often call people skills, the ability to read a situation, infer motives, and find the hidden passageway leading to a deal. There are several types of required expertise, for example, 1. Cognitive skills are the core skills your brain uses to think, read, learn, remember, reason, and pay attention. Working together, they take incoming information and move it into the bank of knowledge you use every day at school, at work, and in life. 2. Judgment is the ability to make a decision or form an opinion wisely especially in matters affecting action good sense and discretion. 3. A social skill is any competence facilitating interaction and communication with others where social rules and relations are created, communicated, and changed in verbal and nonverbal ways. Diagnostic knowledge bases generally consist of diseases, findings, such as symptoms, signs, history, or lab results, and their relationships. In many cases, they explicitly lay out the relationships between a set of findings and the things that cause them diseases. For example, a KB might include influenza and show its relationships with fever, coughing, and congestion. A common approach to modeling relationships between diseases and findings is by using variables that encode positive predictive value and the sensitivity of a finding to a disease. In particular, the evoking strength, positive predictive value, captures how strongly one should consider a disease if the finding was observed, while the frequency, sensitivity, models how likely it is that a patient with a disease manifests a particular finding. The rule-based inference engine outputs a ranked differential diagnosis by scoring the